Hello, we're live, it says, so I shall only believe it. Welcome to this evening, and uh, as uh, promised earlier, I'm going to be doing a, a, a lawn bowls bowl, so uh, we'll look into that in a minute. I'll just bring Keith on, let him say hello to you. Hi guys, welcome to Andy's Live. Let's see what we can come up to tonight. Yeah, keep talking, I'm just going over to YouTube to to mute myself oh it's, i'm muted so that's all right saved it from this morning good this afternoon right okay so on the lathe i have sorry i'll drop keith into the background yeah, again dump, dump me out the back i have a, a lignum vitae bowl lawn bowls bowl um as opposed to a bowl that you can put things in um, I'm not sure what condition it's in. It may have a few issues with, with splits and things. There's one at this end, and there's one at the other end as well. It may or may not be a problem. We'll find out later on. Um, I thought I had five of these, as you saw from the photograph, but in fact, it turned out that four of them were, in fact, I'm going to come back to the other, come back to the other camera. Four of them were, in fact, these Henselite ones. I did have a go at it. I've got that far but I haven't hollowed it at all. It's really, really hard. I think it's even harder than the one that um, Rich was doing last week. Incredibly hard. It blunted my tools as soon as I touched them. I had to use um, carbides in the end, and it was pretty hard work even with those. So there we are. So we live and learn. So I haven't got any more lignum vitae ones, unfortunately. I'm going to have to see if I can get some more, but uh, I'm not going to be carrying on with that, I don't think. <laughs> it really was very depressing to work on. So... Uh, you can see it if you look at the photograph of the the five that I had. You can see the difference in colour um, between the the Hen Henselite ones and, the, and these lignum vitae ones. So that's what we're going to be working on. It's mounted on. Sorry, I'll put it on here just so I didn't uh, drop it, lose it, or anything silly. It is is on the F jaws. So there's a a. 35 millimeter sorry it's too bright 35 millimeter hole which the f jaws expand into it's such a dense strong timber i've got no worries at all about doing a mortise with this it's going to work extremely well and i shall center it with the tail stop because it's not quite accurate but i want it to be both ends looking somewhat the same I'll try turning it the right way. <clears throat> right. Well, I think it'll be running slightly out of true. Yes, it is. That's fine. Don't mind that. I can cope with that. So, let's start taking some wood away at this end while Keith tells us who's in. Yeah, you might want to change camera, Andy, because I think this is the one that's glitching. We've had colour bars across it already. Oh, really? Okay. I will try. Uh, we've got two or three. That one? That one doesn't or, look too bad. We've just or got, I've a, got Or I've got that one. That's probably a better one. You've not got quite such a, um, a bright spot on it. That one's too overhead. Yeah, the lights, the lights reflect off the... Yeah, thing, don't they? Oh, that's a bit better. Take that one away. As long as, you, long as you can see. Yeah, I can see. Okay, well, we'll try that, and I mean, we can always change it. Mm. Which, one, which one am I on? Oh, that one, right. Okay, I'll try not to knock it, because it's fairly close to me. Right, so, let's um, see how we go. And while you're doing that, I'll go through the list of Thank visitors that we have for this evening. Thank you. Yep. First one is Tommy as normal, nearly always as normal. Gerard, the French Turner. Down the list. Robert Dolman, Malcolm Douglas, myself. Um, believe it or not, Andy's in here as well. Trevor P, the Hobby Turner. Um, Robbo's in. Hello, mate. Welcome from down under. Um, Barry Chitty. Oh, Jack, keep going. 
Bob and I is in. Hi, Robert. Um, yes, Andy and I are both going. So um, a question Robert's put in there to everyone. Anyone else going to the weekend uh, this Saturday, Sunday? I should be there Saturday, are, not, not yeah, Sunday. Drop yeah, drop your names in. I'm there both Saturday, Sunday. Andy's just doing the Saturday. So, um, Robbo said it's a bit far for him, but uh, you will always start the day earlier, Robbo. Um, Woodworm Paul is in. Paul Heightens in. Rob CP is in. Um, Tony Smith's in. Wood, uh, Wood Turning by Barry's in. Clive Rogerson. Richard Phelan. Bailey's Woodworks. Gav Sadei. That is all that I can see, guys. So, as normal, um, dump a couple of question marks in front of anything that you might have that you want answers to or like to know what Andy's doing. And Lula's in as well. Oh, Lucy's in. Hello, Lucy. If I know what I'm doing, I'll tell you. Yeah. That's brought the grain out already. Yeah, it's some strange. Can you see it? That, that triangle on there almost. Hmm. It's strange. Yeah. <coughs> but that's all right because I can get a, a 35 mil. Ben Jamin's in. So look out. It's trouble. <laughs> but you're still welcome, Ben. And Barry's oh, we, put a question we, mark in for, um, have you got your tea towel handy? Oh, God. Yeah, fortunately, it's not flying around much. Not I'm going to do, do what Rob suggested and uh, get some cling film on it. See how that goes. It should work. If you don't put it on too tight, it's okay. Yeah. It's like you can press three keys at once. Yeah, I was thinking about that earlier. That's why I haven't done it yet. But I will give it a try. This just crumbles, this tip. You don't get shavings at all. You might do nearer the middle. What sort of speed are you running at? Uh, 1100. Yeah, so you don't really want to turn this too fast either. It doesn't tend to cut that well, what little I've done. Well, this is dark early tonight. It's quite interesting grain in there. Better than I expected. That's good. Mm -hmm. Got lumps and bumps all over the place, but I'm not sure. Smooth that out a little bit. Another bit there. Right up my nose. It's being greedy, that is. <laughs> trying to take a nice fine cut and on a curved surface it's not as easy dig it in a bit up here because I should try and copy the design that uh, Rich used last week because told him I would mm -hmm. just with that little dip on the top Right, the Linikins is in as well. Hi, kiddo. Hello, Lynn. Well, I'm going to just scrape that now. Whoops. Did that move the camera? No. No. Nope. Right. I've just sharpened this scraper so it should do the job quite nicely which it is in fact it's doing it quite beautifully 
That's my phone. Is the touch, isn't it? With that, yeah, it is. Yeah, that's that's quite nice, actually. Mm -hmm. don't, don't, I shall sort the top out later, but uh, nothing a bit right. of 40 grit won't finish. No, absolutely. Mm. Cool, right? I shall take the tail stock away now, hope for the best. I'm going to have to fill a hole, which I didn't mention before I started. There's a hole right the way through this. So the one at the bottom, I'm going to have to put a plug in later on of a piece of um, ebony or something before I dig the inside out. Um, just to, to fill it in and give it something dark to, to roughly match the colour that the lignum white is going to end up. It's actually quite brown because I've. It's very brown, yeah. The last bit of lignum I turned was quite green. Mm, it varies enormously. I've got mm. a piece, got a piece over here somewhere, which. And Doug Miller's well, did, in as well. well. I did have. Where's it gone? Somebody gave it to me as a birthday present. I still haven't got around to turning it yet. No, they didn't say which birthday. No, seventieth it was, which is about four years ago. <laughs> Well, no, it wasn't. No, I turned that one. She gave me another piece. Here it is. She gave me another piece, a much bigger piece for my 70 wedding anniversary. It was. And there it is. So that's different colour again. That's got mm. a slightly greenish tinge to it. Yeah. yeah. And just that wood. And really quite green, that side. So that's, I'm, I'm going to make a box with that, I think. Probably threaded lid. One day. When, when you retire. Yeah. No, don't, don't be silly. Oh, don't be silly. Stop it. It's Lionel, isn't it? Lionel the Chile. Lionel, yes. Yes, he's joined us as well. Welcome, Lionel. Atelier de Leo, yes. Oh, let's go that way. Doug Miller's joined us and he's buggered off now. Oh. Yeah. Fair enough. Is it something we didn't say? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to make this before I can finish anything on so this plug to go in the bottom. It's got to be in there fairly soon, isn't it? It does, yeah. I'll drill the hole now. Something like 8 mil or something will do it. Oh, I can so, see what you mean about the triangle now. I can actually see it. It's quite distinctive on the bottom. It there. is. It's quite odd, isn't it? Yeah. Definite, definite triangle, but but it was and it was buried in the woods. So, I mean, it's not. I don't know what it is quite. But it doesn't matter. It all adds character, doesn't it? Yep. Part and parcel of it. Mill. I've got a piece of uh, I've got a piece of ebony somewhere which I will dig out use that to fill in the hole oh that's not big enough go up to 10 I think 
doesn't matter because I'm filling it in anyway. That's my phone again. Mm -hmm. Just to tell you you're live. Oh, could be. Yes, it probably is. Actually, yes. Mm. Yeah, don't forget you're live. Adam's in. Hello, Hello Adam. Adam. Now, of the other, the other three that I've um, used in the past, lignum vitae bowls, two had the hole right through the middle, this one and, and one other, and the other two didn't. They were solid. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm not quite sure what that, what's going on there, but something is. Probably it's for balancing it or something. A specific maker, I would think, does it that way. So there were a set of four. Right. Uh, so, you know, I, I really want in as well. He's come in to join us. Okay. That is quite a split in the bottom. Yeah, drop a super glue in that. Wouldn't hurt. Yeah, it doesn't go, wouldn't, doesn't go very far. Go amiss. No, it wouldn't go amiss. Chucky. You've got to take it off to turn the... Uh, Dignum, uh, the whatever you put in there. Yeah, yeah. The no, actually, yes, I won't even drill the hole yet. Or make the hole yet. Try to turn it the right way. <laughs> yes, the Irish chuck, it goes backwards. Uh, what am I doing? Turning a bit, bit of, of... Yeah, a bit of black. Black ebony stuff, what do I do with it? Oh, there's a bit. It's a brownish bit, so that's all right. That that'll be quite good. Yeah, that's. Uh, well, you've got thirty-seven a... staring at you, mate. So make a good job of it. I will try. <laughs> <laughs> Chucky, there it is. I think actually I'll cut that off. Don't need it that long. Don't want it sticking out from the in the, from the chuck too far. I've probably made that too short now. <laughs> hey ho, that'll do. Nine point six three. Ten. Ten mil exactly. Good. That's fine. So we'll cut that to ten. Fraction over. There we are. Ben's posted a... Uh an observation in here. Why were balls made with wood in the first place? Wouldn't a more consistent material be easier to get the target weight? Um, um, today it would have be, any. but uh, yeah. I don't suppose there were that many plastics, acrylics and whatever when uh, these bowls were actually turned. No. I'm not exactly sure when bowls first started being used, but it was a long time ago. 
Right. Um, so Walter Raleigh played on Plymouth Ho, if I uh, he did can remember right. So um, there's a good indication. The clue. Having said, yes. Yeah, having said that, Rich the Beard's joined us. He wants to Hello, see Rich. how it's done, mate. So hi, <laughs> hi Rich. <laughs> yeah. The reason I'm doing this, Rich, is that the um, the lignum vitae bowls have a hole through the middle, or some of them have a hole right through the middle. So I've got to plug the bottom. I need to do it now before I get too far up. So I can then hollow it and hollow this at the same time. So that's what I'm doing at this moment. Um, what's that? That should be somewhere near now. 10.8. That's not bad. It's getting there. Should be somewhere near. Andrew, YV Woodshed's joined us. I'm not Hello, sure Andrew. I've missed him a bit earlier on. I must have done because he's up the chat a couple of minutes. 10.2 down there, 10.8 near the top. Bit of scraper. <laughs> Bit of a chamfer on the top. Help me get it in there. Mark Gentleman's in as well. Hello, Mark. Oh, that's 10 exactly. How about that? That can't be bad, nice. can it? All luck and judgment, I know. Well, yeah, basically. 10.18 yeah. up there, so I should just take a touch. Absolute touch off. That should do it. Hey-ho. Right, so let's see if that fits. Oh, Perfect. It's only, only been and gone and got it perfect. So nice. I'll, yeah. Look at that. I can pick the pick the, the wood up with the with it. It's that, it's that snug. Beautiful. Peter Cochran's thing. in as well now. Hello, Peter. Can't, can't chat. He's having din-dins. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. How nice. And Tom Tango Parker's in. Hello, Tom. You'll have to excuse me, guys, it's because the chat that I'm watching is jumping something ridiculous and oh. something like 10 at a time. We had issues lunchtime, didn't we, Andy? That yeah, it's not it is. keeping up with everything. So um, I will get things. to get to you and your questions. You're posing if you're posing any as and when If I do miss out. I do apologize, but uh, it's, it's hard work at the moment. Right, I should be able to release that. Come in here and mark out the mortise. Which is that size. Th 35, yep. Just there. Beautiful. Terry TJ's in. Hello, Terry. <laughs> too many Terry's, aren't there? There's too many of everyone at times. You, the yeah, names yeah, just and all mix into one. There's a plethora of Andys. Yeah, it used to be Steve's, didn't it, at one time? I think that was before you got too involved. Oh, possibly, uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's that. <coughs> oh, we want to do the, do the edge bit. there which 
I should have done on the lathe, but I forgot. <sighs> and glue it in. I'll super glue that, I think. Yep, yeah, that'll do it. That'll do it. It's not going to have any pressure on it particularly. That's better. So, right. Yes, Rich, I tend to wait till it's nearer the three-quarter mark rather than right at the beginning before I like a, a live. Yeah, yeah, you can see if you like it first. Yeah, yeah. Makes it more genuine, doesn't it? Right, that's nice to that. get the likes. And oh, nice yeah. to like them, but... Uh... Yes, indeed. Right, so that's that glued in. It's, it's darker than the than the original timber, but hey, mm, what matter? Doesn't matter, no, it doesn't matter at all. Right, so that's me, me thingy in there, me mortise. Are you going to trickle a little bit of glue in that? Uh, yes, I will. I'll, yeah, I'll do it when I turn it over. Yeah, which is about now. Actually, I'm just going to tidy up that chamfer on there it's not not looking great i don't know if i've got glue on it or what i've done but something's not quite right down there oh it's the end of me end of me skews not not got a point on it Broken oh it i off. remember i know what it was right the young lads young lads using the lathe and they hit the chuck ah well one of them did so it's not entirely surprising Why is that not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in tendency to agree with you, Robbo, on that one. But um, with What's it that? being an ebony, um, he's, he's, Robbo suggested that he's got a tendency to squash filler plugs with pliers to put grooves in them so that the glue has somewhere to key to rather than wipe it out when you have oh, it. Oh, I see. In. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. have done that in um, the past, I must admit. But. If I'm using a softwood, softer wood plug, I quite often um, just upend the um, skew and just put a couple of uh, grooves in it. And it's a valid point. Yeah, if, you, if you've got a um, dowel that you need to put into a hole and you overturn the dowel or you overdrill the hole so that it's loose, if you put a couple of couple three rings around it before you glue it in, you will get a tighter fit because it expands the wood. Oh, yes, of course it does. You would do, wouldn't it? Yep. Mm. Well, that's better. That's 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 nice now. It's lovely, absolutely lovely. So, a bit of medium. Rich is asking, can he make an announcement, Andy, please? Of course, of course he can. Yeah. As long as it's uh, clean. <laughs> yeah, clean and decent. <laughs> but do tell me what the announcement is. He's not made it yet. All right, okay. Oh, no invasion this week as I'm out with Thomas. It's his birthday on Thursday. Okay. Um, what I can do then, um, Rich, is I'll have a word with Scott and see if he wants to drag his live on a bit longer. Mm hmm. Or start a bit later. I'm not sure whether he's posted anything yet. 
Yeah, there's a similar one this end, but I should wait until I've uncovered it because it's mostly going to be hollowed away. That's it. That's solid. Good. So, how old Thomas then, Rich? And is he treating you to a beer? I'm taking him to the Bournemouth Air Show with me. Ah. Right. Um. No, I better take that off before I do any more to this end, didn't I? Oh, he's only 15, so he can't buy you a beer yet. That's a bit of a bummer, Rich, isn't it? <laughs> hey? Yeah, sounds like bad organisation, that. Mm. Oh, no, I can't do that, can I? Um, How close is it to true? It's not, not very... No. So, um, 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 that's probably not big enough. No. Can you not guess the centre of that gently and uh, turn the speed right down? Yeah, I can try, can I? Yeah, we've got John from New Jersey just joined us. Hi, John. Welcome aboard. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. Tighten it up quick. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that'll be all right. It'll be near enough. I just want to clean that glue off mm. while I can get to it. Oh. Right, now, come on. Get yourself sorted out. Doug, Doug's apology is he had to help the wife. The freezer went out. Oh dear. So he's back again. Oh good. Hope it wasn't too drastic, Doug. And you didn't lose any food or anything. We'll take too much off because it'll just make the the mortise a bit shallow. I can always sand the, the base of it afterwards, anyway. Well, you can always uh, slightly it's, deepen the mortise if necessary, as you're true. Can, can do. Yep. Not a scraper, then, Andy. Sorry. Not the scraper, as you finished it just no. now with the scraper. No, I'm just say just taking the glue off, and then I'll scrape it. Ah, right. I put the glue on fairly thickly, as you do. Oh, that's nearly there. That's good. Right, I'm going to move the head tail stock out of the way now, and do the whole thing with the scraper. Should have got that. Yep, it's still a bit of a hole, but it's not too bad. It's, it's, at least it's held together a bit. And twisted Pete from the trees is in. Hello, Pete. Hiya, Pete. So you've got an awe inspiring 47 watching tonight, mate. Well, good stuff. Mm. That's, that's quite impressive. Just deepen this a little bit. Won't do any harm, just to make sure.
Beautiful, right, that'll do nicely. Right, now I can turn it round. No, I can't, I've got to sand it. Apart from that, I can turn it round. <laughs> mm. Won't take much sanding. To be honest, it's it's not it's pretty smooth. I shall start at two hundred and forty. So Robo uh, Rob CP's put a comment into Robo. I see we're making an acorn box on Saturday. Are you sure that isn't too advanced for himself, <laughs> Rob? Um, I would say go for it, Rob. You That's never it. know if it's too advanced until you've actually screwed it up completely and you're not going to go that fast knowing Robbo here keep an eye on you um I would say you're more than capable of doing yeah. that just uh, listen to the instructions and don't go too fast do a bit at a time you did that trombler which is more than most of them yes exactly yeah uh, I was so impressed with that <laughs> Yeah, it was it was a wicked piece of turning. It's so delicate, isn't it? Oh, Robbo's put in there, Rob. You are more than capable. I would say yeah. so as well. Yeah, absolutely. Trust yourself, Rob. We know you can do it. You just need to convince yourself that you can do it. Yeah. You don't need to be the fastest. There's not a race. That... Come, no, speed comes with practice. And practice makes you good. So the more you practice, the faster you will get. Yeah. If you're looking for speed, you know, you didn't ought to be a wood turner as such. Not until you've been turning for 10 plus years. And then I think it takes some of the fun out of it if you go too fast, doesn't it? Yeah. That's that one. And Adam saying it's not a race. No, absolutely. Just as well, really. Mm. I'd lose all my life I've lost races I'm quite I've an expert at it <laughs> yeah I've never been too keen on them Although no, 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 I hate today's it. live actually come out quite quick what was it a 40 minute bowl yeah, that, did, that's, that's right yeah it wasn't, uh, that, that wasn't wasn't chasing the tail at all no no, just, no. Uh, just going just the way at it works. a reasonable speed and the timber worked well if everything works well, then then you can do it, can't you? But mm, uh, but it's not. Yeah. It doesn't do to have that as a name. To do it quickly, because you can guarantee something will go wrong. Yeah, right, I think. There. Why does everyone count down to sixty minutes? Then um, oh. I've no idea. I've Ooh. no idea, Adam. Um, I just let it go as it uh, as it happens when I'm turning. It's got white lines on it. It's probably sand in dust. Oh. Just charge me <laughs> compressor up. But it's got it's got sort of dotted ones around the middle here. If it's already in there, leave it. You can't do much yeah, about it's, it's got it's got a white stripe there. I I think I'll just sand it. I'll go back a grade or two. Yeah. Let's see if it'll improve it. Come on, let's have some pressure. Yeah, that'll drop a meth and wipe it off. Yeah, yeah I've got uh, got some meths. Yes, the the ter the sixty minute one. Um, I'm not worried about. It takes me as long as it takes me. Um, those little Christmas decorations that I did the other week. Yeah. three to four minutes each um easy only because of practice yeah yeah so um and if you practice you can get get up a speed um like adam i don't want to be a production turner no um, i was gonna say that if you're getting I to, that speed, to enjoy it, it. 
It is effectively production turning, isn't it, when you get up to that sort of speed? Mm. Yeah, Which, I just um, want to enjoy myself. It can take the pleasure out of it, yeah. Oh, well, Val is uh, suggesting that uh, you're a secret drinker on the meths. Yeah. It's Dave, isn't it? Yeah. 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 And he's asked, what sort of show is this? It's oh, a, it's whatever it's you want to make it. Yeah, it's a high spirited <laughs> show, Dave. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> and you can take that whichever way you like yeah I think that covers it <laughs> uh, let's have a look apart from having put lots of scratches that's looking better the white stripe has gone now right yes Robbo you've always done production work so you get you get the pleasure and that yeah. was your that was your living um this is my hobby now. yeah absolutely and it makes a big if difference it, yeah if it if i need to take all day i can take all day if i have to get up there and get it turned out in a couple of hours i could probably do it as well but i don't want to do production work like that now i've done a good few many short production runs for private individuals um, didn't find a lot of enjoyment out of it, apart from uh, a check at the end. It's each to their own, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. We all like different things, thank goodness. Yeah, that's a bit better. This this will do it. When I've gone through the grades, that will do it. And I'll, I'll um, Yorkshire grit it, I think. Andrew at Webfoot Resin and Wood is in. I believe it's Andrew, isn't it, or is it Dave? Uh, I've, I've said that now, and I can. I'm doubting I myself I, now. It's no, David, I believe. I, th I think you're right. Yeah. Yeah, it's David. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was close. It was a good try. Yeah, it's one of the many names. <laughs> it's, it's a name. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> picky, Wasn't picky. Rude. Yeah, it wasn't rude, so that's good enough. No, that's <laughs> right, absolutely. It is very close grained, this. It's very close grained. Which makes a nice change. That's, that's better. I should just quick blow out of this bit here the crack that's better oh, it's not right. so white now no no it's much better mm. much better good radio i'll give you a quick sanding sealant yeah don't linger on that because it doesn't soak in on uh, dignum no you no can, i should sure. end up with it uh, a mess I shall wipe it off as soon as I sprayed it on. Because it is inevitably a little bit dry, a little bit warm. So it's going to make help it dry. That's sealed it. Oh, it's a lovely colour. Mm. Nice. Yeah, Tommy's put his comment on there. The very thought of having to do something to a time limit uh, makes him not want to do it. Makes him <laughs> not want to start. Absolutely. I couldn't agree more. Um, Andy's ask, uh, Bren's asking you a question, mate. Is it mm -hmm. not cold where you are? It's gone nope. chilly here. No, it's quite, no, I've got the door open still. Yeah. It's wide, wide open and it's, it's really quite pleasant. I don't, I don't like heat though. So, uh, so I don't tend to feel the cold very much. 
right then. A couple it's of about bits of that. 17 where I am, which is a quarter of an hour up the road from Andy. Yeah, so it'd be similar here. It's, I'm still working up a sweat. So. Pure, you're not then going that, that fast, are you? <laughs> I, do, I do that in the middle of the winter, so there's <laughs> nothing unusual there. You're, you've been running three quarters of an hour or 45 minutes. Really? As much as that? Good heavens. Mm. That's you having to fill the hole in it. Oh, like we've said, you know, if it's a two hour turn, it's a two hour turn. Yep. Absolutely. Those that can't stop will go. That they is distinct. Come back and watch it. That is distinct. You can't see it, can you? No, you can't really see the colour of that. You can see a bit of colour on there. It's distinctly green. Is it really? Yeah. 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 Peter, if you want anyone singing, you don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> the hands that you pity as you're soft yeah. as your face. Light brown, Yorkshire gritty. There you go. That's it. Yeah. That's no it. more tonight. For the night. <laughs> no. Yeah. I used to be a choir boy once, you know. Yeah. It was a long time ago, but a hundred years ago. Mm. When I was, uh, what, 10? Uh, 95 years ago then. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll say that's not got anything coming off it. It nearly hasn't. Very slight. That'll do. Right. A bit of microphone. It's polishing up beautifully. It's a lovely shine coming on it. But then it should do that close grind. Stuart Ingrula is in. Um, sorry, I missed you dropping in, Stuart, but you're more than welcome. Angry. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> or Stuart, anyway. Yes, uh, Stuart. Def definitely Stuart. I don't really yeah. mis mispronounce your surname. Apologies. In that is Stuart. Is no, he's not the one from Malta, is he? No, who comes from Malta? I can't remember. Somebody does. Yeah. Well, it's it's not done intentionally, Stuart. <laughs> no, definitely not. If you you have a foreign name and we're British, <laughs> so foreign languages apart from Aussie um, are not my favourite things. I quite like them. I just can't use them. I tried desperately to recall my schoolboy French when we went to France. I managed some bits. Mm -hmm. Surprising how much I could understand, considering I hadn't done it since I was 16. But um, Right, that's that. Oh, look at that. So we'll put, what should we put on top of that? Something, something, I'll come up with something. He's in Guernsey, and oh, it's, Guernsey. Pro it's pronounced in, in the French, Ill. in the French fashion, almost. Oh, I should never remember that. <laughs> Anglui, uh, maybe uh, Ling Ruil. So you'll still get called Stuart. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we can. We can manage, Stuart. Yeah. Yeah. 
it's really quite green. Yeah, I did say I have the the lignum I've turned has always been green. Mm, yeah, this doesn't look no. green, but it's no. sawdust is coming off green. Green and waxy. Green and waxy now, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right, I, I think, think that'll do that. Your sawdust is quite waxy, I've found. Oh, yes, yes, it is, because it, it mm. actually sort of lubricates the tools, which is quite nice. I don't mind that at all. You've got to have a lubricated tool. God, look at that. Can you see that? Yes, you can see mm. that. Yeah. Yeah. Love. Use it as a shaving mirror in the morning. Absolutely. I don't want to turn it around. I might mess it up. Um, <laughs> no, not really. Okay. That's hardly even made a dent in it, that, that centre mm. and that, that piece of ebony. Right. That's that. Next. Oh, I've got to get this top bit sorted out. The lip. Adam's asking how many conversations at once. What's Andy turning? Um, it's going to be a little bowl very similar to what Rich did last week on his live. So it's going to be a bowl. I can't remember exactly what Rich looks Rich has looked like. It's got a little a little um, turned out lip mm. around the top. Apart from that, it was this shape. And as Richard's feeling says, a bowl from a bowl. Absolutely. Technically a wood. But that doesn't help. <laughs> no. And, they, and when they're swapped over to making composite uh, woods... They still call them woods, which I found yes. quite interesting. Yeah, yeah. Fairly yeah. silly, in fact, really. Yeah. Welcome to the uh, world of wood turning, white line, maths, crack, and now lubricated tools. Right on, Stuart. There's the little plug just come out the middle. Now then, uh, what do we do here? I'm going to go in that way and out that way. Let's take a bit off here. David McLernan has joined us. Hello, Oops, David. Hello, David. Oops, that's getting hot. Ooh. <laughs> that's getting hot. Drop the speed a bit then. Yeah. It just cuts nicely. Mm. No, stop it. You've already got a catch, so it's going to grab it. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Let's see what I did. Uh, oh, a bit of one. Mm. Oh, there's a crack in it. That's what it is. There's a crack. Pick it, oh, picking up on that crack. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that's all right. I'll come from it from the other side. Come out here, round that way. I did PTFE on this bed tonight. It's still not helping. It's still stiff. <laughs> no, 
that's better. That's it, something like that. That's what I was after. Sort of a bit of a cove in there, really. Chamfer that off. Yeah, that's it. That's what I wanted. Where's your mic, Andy? A mic, just in front of my face. All oh, right. It's a deep, deep breathing again. Oh, is it? I'll it drop it down a bit. It was picking up. <laughs> All right, I'll drop it down a bit. Oh, I'm working up a sweat here. Oh, you can't do that. Careful, mate. No. You're tired. No. Yeah, slow down here. Right, now then. Oh, that's not very good. Okay, I'll have to, that's the crack that's affected it there. I might have to alter this a little bit, but we'll see. Right then, here we go. Michelle Higgins. Does that name ring a bell to you? I can't say that I've no. seen her in here before, but you're more than welcome, Michelle. She must have been watching for some time because she's going back to work. All right. Apologies that uh, I didn't see you come in, whether you've spoken before, but uh, there you go. Of work. Does that stink? Just a bit. Not, yeah. A little bit smelly. You could have put the extractor on, you see. I was just thinking that, yeah. Yeah. Just let that cool down a little bit. That will be quite hot. It'll push the smell out of then, won't it? So, that, so that's all right. <laughs> Got a drop of wax you can put on the before you go back in? Um, yes. A little bit of that one will do it. It's quite warm. Mm, it's melting it. Yeah. It's taking all the shavings away and everything. Mm. You can't even see how much it's smoking now. <laughs> can't smell it from here anyway. 
No. <laughs> That's probably just as well. Could end up with a few complaints otherwise. Mm, it's evil, isn't it, at times, that one? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's not too bad. It's a little bit unpleasant, but I've smelt worse. Shavings are all coming out nicely. Uh, shavings or dust? Well, a bit of each. There are yeah. some shavings. From one side of the drill bit, there's shavings. The other side is just dust. Oh, hello. Didn't like the run sound out, of that. Run out of thread? No. Oh, it might be. Yeah, it could be. Run off the end of it, yeah. Yeah, I think I probably did, yeah. Yeah, no, it all looks all right, sir. You shouldn't get a spark down the uh, the chute, Robbo, because it's only wood. And I don't think anyone's whacked any nails in it. So I think we're pretty safe. Yeah, antler's evil, Doug, isn't it? I've drilled some of that for pens in the past and regretted it. Even turning it stinks. And you keep What's it that? stops on your antler. It stops on oh, your really? for ages. Oh really? Oh no. Or it did mine. No matter how many times you washed them, you could still smell it. I suppose I should check that. Might be a good idea. Let's go down to about fifty mil. That's all right, that can go right down to there then. Eighty mil. Which is halfway up there, right. No props. Yeah, I've seen it. Uh, I've seen people get uh, drilling that hot that it started to burn the timber as well. Yeah, it's yeah. generally because they've got blunt drills and the wood is spinning too fast. I did actually pick a deliberately pick a new, a brand new drill bit that hasn't been used before and turn the speed down. So. Clive, I think it might have been marginally just now, which is why he whacked a, whacked a bit more weight on it. But the, the wood's so hard. Might be marginally. What? The tail stopped moving marginally. Oh, it, it was, yeah. Yeah. So I, yeah. I did just tighten it up a bit. You can see there's a, a mark there. It's moved about five mil this time. It is very, very hard. Only another 12 mils ago ish. Did 
I get down to the, the hole for the chuck key, it'll be about right. Mm -hmm. Oh, mate, that is tight. <laughs> Five mil. do it thank goodness for that that will be doing it yeah don't grab the hot end <laughs> no i'm leaving that to cool off <laughs> all right Let's cut some of this noise out oh dear that was all work yeah it's warm in there it's not too bad just a little bit. <sighs> okay, now then, we'll have that one, and then we'll probably want that one, but. sort this out it's needing some attention i think could be the bottom of the banjo's a bit rough yeah, could be. i'll take it off and have a look at it yeah i took mine off in the early days and uh, fettled it down a bit more speed power it we've got the boring bit but we can't do anything about this no as it's a down guard it's going to take a little bit longer than some of the softer woods but uh, let's try might show a little bit more of what i'm doing it shows it a lot a more green on that one than what the other camera does yeah that's so that's my more expensive camera mm -hmm. The one I can zoom on. So has any anyone got any projects running at the moment? Anything specific or just general turning? <coughs>
I might have missed the beginning of this, but uh, Richard Phelan was in restocking because stuff is selling well. Um, so he's obviously got a shop somewhere, I believe, or an outlet yeah. somewhere that he's he can sell from. I so know, like he it. did a, uh, a village market on Saturday and did quite well. I did two days in a Amberley workshop Sunday and Monday and did quite well. So people are starting to buy things it's, now. It's picking up. Yeah, Christmas is coming. One or two we get ready for that. Rogerson's put in there, just done his Facebook beginners group August Egg Cup. Well done, mate. Hope you uh, got it the right size. Yeah. 42 mil at the opening at the top. <laughs> yes, yeah, we know all about those. Yeah. Oh, excuse me, I've just got to mop myself down a bit. Right, I'm back. You're talking to yourself, was you? I was, I was. Yep. Yeah. 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 I find I get the get the answer I want then. Yeah. Um, Mole Valley has got uh, a craft fair on Sunday. Fingers crossed. All right. Yep. Peter Cochran's got nothing on the go at the moment, but he'll be joining us down in uh, Canterbury for the weekend. All right. Good. Richard Phelan's sold six snowmen already. I got an order I, for one. <laughs> I actually sold over a hundred of my little Christmas decorations over the, the two days. So I've right. got to get busy knocking out a few more of them. Uh, people are asking for them and wanting them now. So that's good. And five things he could have done with the 42 mil a couple of days ago. And if you'd have watched Andy and I um, yep. last week turning hours, you would have known all about the 42 mil. <laughs> it was uh, mentioned several times. And. Uh, God, chat behind. That big, the big egg, forty-six mil. That's the Cadbury's cream eggs. That size yeah, for fit. <laughs> Clive. So don't worry too much. <laughs> oh, let's get. So I think things are moving in the. Markets. Yes, thank goodness. It's been a bad year. Yeah, and Robbo's saying no craft markets allowed over there at the moment. No, oh, really? they're actually yeah. quite bad at the moment, aren't you? Are you still in lockdown, Robbo? Uh, and Gaz Glass, the Driftwood Turner, is in now. Right, another new name. Oh, just put a comment up. Everything is shut tighter than a fish is. Everything Robbo saying, yeah. So um, I think we mm. over in UK are fairly lucky. I think we are, yeah. Let's try. Let's try. Don't, I'm not sure I've ever used this. The, the bendy one. Swan as as you. Uh, as long as you keep it on the flat bit. Yeah, yeah, I've I've, I've watched, <laughs> watched and listened. I don't. It doesn't look as though it's ever been used. I don't remember using it. So is that just HSS. Yeah. Um, it's yeah, a hope it turning one. Yeah. Yeah, you might want to drop the speed down a bit against what you were turning with the carbide. Radio. Is 
only just to get this bit just inside the top here. Mm. Move that slightly away a bit. Not quite right up here. That's better. Well, that cuts all right. Not bad at all. No, no. Very easy to uh, sharpen anyway. Just take them off and yeah. rub them on the top. And yeah. Lucy starting to take orders, orders for Christmas. All right. <laughs> yeah. I'll be giving you a ring, Lucy, to arrange what time I'm meeting Rich, uh, Robin, Robin on Saturday. Yeah, keep him out a bit early, because he's got to be up early, up at uh, Andy's place. I'd like to leave here by, well, certainly by nine, probably a bit before. Give us time to have a bit of breakfast when we get down there. You want to be down there by nine. I do, really. breakfast, so you want to leave, uh, leave Andy's place about seven. There, Robin. Yeah, yeah, see what he thinks of that. <laughs> <laughs> you can always blame it on me, Lucy. <laughs> oh. oh, that's not what I wanted. Oh, you're not on that camera anyway. That's all right. Just as well. I caught the cable. Okay. Gerard has put in there here they have announced the end of all restriction for the 22nd of October so Gerard's in Southern Ireland isn't he yeah yes he's Cork isn't he uh, yeah Southern Ireland I'm not quite sure where it was yeah, yeah Cork's right down the bottom yeah. so I went to Dingle and I saw signs he's for gone. Cork he's gone Fire at the thought of getting up early. Kick him out of bed, Lucy. It's only a one-off. We can do it for a day. We can have a lay in Sunday. And in seven o'clock at Andy's. <laughs> oh, you're cruel. <laughs> Let's see how that's doing. Oh, losing my headset. I must be removing something because there's a lot of sawdust in it. There's a nasty crack right through this, which is worrying me a little bit. I don't know if you can see it. Probably not. Yeah. It's just, just there. And it goes right through. Do you want to trickle some super glue from the inside? I can do now. Yeah. Um, yes, because it goes right down on the outside. Yeah. On the inside, it goes right down to here somewhere. So it's quite a significant crack, that one. Ah, I so Lu Lucy's just, will be finishing off her night shift, so she'll be going to bed as uh, you'll be able to get into a warm bed then, Lucy. <laughs> when you kick him out, so she's coming in as he's going out. Yeah, it sounds like it. This is all taking time, all this fiddling around, but that's the way Don't it goes. Worry about it, yeah. yeah. Hour and twenty, that's not a problem. No, and it is a very hard piece of timber to turn. Yeah, you've still got thirty-nine uh, staring at you. Good. Is he, is he going to get his finger out? I mean, who said that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no chance. No. no. As we've said earlier, it takes what it's going to take. Yep. Right, then we'll get some in there. I think if we can. Yep, can't go all the way down, probably. Oh, I don't know, yes, I can. It's not a very big crack going all the way down. It's just up around the lip here. And if necessary, I'll take the lip off. But I don't want to particularly. Well, I'm glad I sharpened my tools up before I did this. 
because you'll need to sharpen them up tomorrow before you do anything else. Yes. Yeah. He's what I'm on tomorrow. I'll finish a couple of glasses and then doing some snowmen tomorrow. Actually, that's quite nice and thin there, so I'm going to do too much more. Just down, just down there. Tall rest is probably a good idea. You need something to rest it on. Well, it's easier, isn't it? Faithful. Right, guys, there's the link for the Facebook Wood Turning for Beginners Facebook page. Because you can't paste it in there, so I've just pasted it on there. So. Like Robo says only moderators can put links into the chat. Yep, that's yep. why I've done it. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I think that might be getting somewhere relatively near. It is. That's good. Let's clear the muck out and see what we got. Have a good night's sleep, Pete. See you uh, Saturday somewhere. And uh, on a passing comment, he said, nice head of hair, Andy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Take it easy, Pete. Cheers, Pete. I think that's as much as I need to hollow out of there. I might, when I'm not quite so hot and bothered, just have a little go at tidying a few bits up. But it's it's not it's not bad inside, but it just wants a little bit, a little bit of attention. But I'm going to get the excess glue and stuff off here, get the lip finished right now. And, uh, yeah, that'll do that. It's not what it's try designed not to for. Cut all the way, no, so try not to cut all the way around because that will grab. If you're not careful. I'm being exceedingly careful, I can assure you. Yeah. I thought before, oh, I can use that. Uh, yeah. Can't. Seems like a good idea at the time. Mm. Yes, it's the right diameter for what I want. Yes. <laughs> Oh dear. But I'm being extremely cautious with it. <laughs> so cautious. It hasn't done hey, what I wanted. Uh, um, yeah, we're going Friday evening, Scott and myself. So we'll see you somewhere down there, but uh, we'll give you a buzz when we know where we're going. Because it's all top secret at the moment, even I don't know, and I'm driving. <laughs> it's Kent County cricket ground, but. I've... No, it's not. The rugby ground now. Oh, sorry, rugby ground. Big one. It was. Mm -hmm. It was the cricket ground, wasn't it? Yeah, it was and the cricket ground. It. That's right. That's right. But there's a Friday evening do as well, which some of us are yeah. going to, and I can't. I don't know where it is. What's What's happening? No, I shan't be there for that, sir. No, no. But Pete will be because he's camping down there. All oh, right. Two, three nights. And Robert Darwin's got to escape, but he says a promising looking piece. I think yep, once no, that's sanded, clean up yeah. that rim just a bit inside as well. A bit more glue to take off there. Oh, it's come, it's peeling off of my finger now. 
Is that? Yes, I'll, I'll do a little bit more work in there. Um, put a little bit on the top. That that that's roughly the shape I wanted anyway. Mm -hmm. It's got a lump missing, unfortunately, in there. But, um, Here's nature provided. Yep. Mm. I could see the through the, through all the varnish and God knows what else was on there. You could see those two cracks, one top, one at the bottom. But they don't join up, which is the bonus. <laughs> That's right, absolutely. That's better. No, don't be silly. That's it. Let's have a look at that. Sand, little sand. Yeah, I think we're in the Holiday Inn down there, Peter, um, which is about six minutes away, I'm told. But whether that's driving or walking, I haven't got a clue. But we're touch base when we're down there on Friday. Rich is still here, although he's not commenting. He's listening from his jewellery bench. Get oh. him. Yeah. <laughs> You're think... knocking out some good stuff, Rich. Thoroughly enjoying it, even if I don't do a lot of chatting on it. Oh, that's, that's awful. It's chewed it up completely around there. Around that lip. Is this chuck locked on? No. no. Oh, yes, okay. it is, yes, it is. Yes, it is. You could, you could lightly set, um, try in reverse, very lightly. <coughs> what, turning it in reverse or sanding? Yeah, um, both. Look after yourself, Gerard. Sorry you've got a funeral party of 50 to 150. You never know how many turn up, but uh, no. you take it easy. But at least you've got a job, mate, and you're uh, earning some money and keeping some people happy. But thanks for stopping by. You take it easy, mate. Yes, indeed. Um, I'll just try. What can I do it with? That scraper. Very, very, very gently. Oh, that feels better. I sharpened the scraper as well before I started. So. Uh huh. It's done quite well. That sounds better. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's much, much, much better. Good, because we couldn't see a thing. No, I'm sure you couldn't. But it's, <laughs> there's a there's a there's a lump missing, but I can't actually take any more off it because it'll come through on the on the lip. Mm. But what I yeah. might do is I won't do it now, but I might put some billy put in it tomorrow. There's there's a hole on the outside there. Yeah, we can see it. Yeah. Yeah. And there's and there's one on oh, the inside, oh, almost right, opposite. Yeah. It's all part of the same crack, just down there. I don't know if you can see that. Probably not. But yeah. oh, yes, you can. Yeah, where my don't finger know. is. I don't know what you're doing, Ben. We've still got a picture this side. Um, I think he's referring to your uh, hair. Oh, my hair. Yeah, because yeah, I suppose I was, I, was, yeah, I was in the way. Yeah, you were, you were right in shade. the way. It's a lovely shade of grey. Mm, that's just what I think he was referring to. Right. Yeah. yeah, probably, but hey. I think I should just get this sanded, the outside here. And then I think that will probably be... I should call that it for tonight because I'm getting tired. 
and it's no point doing it when you're tired. Because no, uh, I'll come back to that. Happen. Yeah, I'll come back to it. Just finish it off. It's just smoothing stuff out. It's not. It's not going to look any different from the outside. I just want to get that inside sorted out a bit and fill in these holes, which is from where that crack that crack was. Which nothing we could do about that. It's just the way it was. So. Uh, I don't want to keep everybody from their beds. No one's complaining. No. As Rich said with the um, the one he was doing last week, it's it's hard. Yeah. Yeah, it is. And this is this is equally equally hard in a slightly mm. different way, but yeah, Robbo's just put in fifty shades of grey. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'd love to have hair like my grandfather had absolutely snowy white hair. Yeah. Lovely head of hair he had right until he died at the age of ninety something. And uh, all the all the ladies loved it. Mine's not quite as nice as that. But it's white enough. Just look distinguished. Mm. I think something like that anyway well it goes it goes all the way around and over the top doesn't it well it does yeah absolutely at the moment still yeah we Got don't me. have any bald any baldness in my family at all uh-huh I'm quite pleased to say yeah. don't have anything against being bald I just don't fancy it no I just got the I got bits missing looks like the cat's been pulling it out but there you go <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, you don't have any choice about it, do you? <laughs> it is the way it is. Yeah. So. And I'm not going to take the whole bloody lot off. <laughs> no. I nearly did. <laughs> I have a number one. No, number right. two. Number two. In the summer. Number three in the winter. Yeah. And Robbo reckons so, his head's growing through his hair. Yeah. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. Back. Yeah. I think it's where I kept banging my bloody head against the wall all the time, trying to get people to listen. <laughs> so, um, Robbo, just to you, this one at the moment, I believe you put a second link in for your live on Saturday. Because you screwed up the first one. If you can just confirm that, we can uh, we can put that out on here so people do know that there is. I think I read it right. I'll wait for an answer to come up. Yeah. Right. I'm going to Yorkshire grit that. You're not going to put sand in sealer on first, then? Well, I am, yes. Mm -hmm. Just on this outside bit here. Right, so I am right on that. Okay, so for the rest of the chat, in case you haven't seen it, um, Robbo screwed up the first link that he put up for his live, teaching live on Saturday, this coming Saturday, and he has since put in a an amended detail and link. So make sure you go for the second link that is in there. Oh. Otherwise you'll have to hunt around for it. Nice bits of paper. I suppose that's yeah. abstract, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I've got, I'm getting tired. That's my excuse. <laughs> Yorkshire Group will get them off. Right, so clean bit of tissue. Yorkshire Group. From drop. That one, that one, and that one. So, talking of haircuts, it's, that seems to be the subject at the moment. Barry Chitty's wife cuts his own for him. 
Uh -huh. um, Gav hasn't paid for a haircut since he was 25. He's now 27, isn't he? Yeah, he's still a mere boy. Um, I have had the same barber since I was uh, about 1920. He's he's virtually retired, but he still does a few. <laughs> well, my wife's hairdresser does my hair. Right. So we have to go to her now. She used to come to the house. Mm -hmm. COVID put stop to all that. Yeah. And I think she's going to stay, carry on doing it from her house now because she's made the back of the garage, put a wall up and made okay. that into yeah. her salon. So I suspect right. she'll carry on. Probably cheaper than uh, travelling around and at least you've got everything to hand then. Yeah, and she can fit more people in in a day, so she'll, mm. she'll make a, a better living, which is not all bad, is it? No, no. Right, that's that one. Next. So there's a question on there to Gav. When are you going live? And Gav has said he's waiting for a headset. Maybe next week. Oh, we were talking about this last week, weren't we? Yeah, yeah. Gav said set. Jabra, maybe. He was looking at Jabra anyway. Well, everyone was suggesting Jabra, or most yeah, people yeah. were suggesting Jabra that were in there. I must admit, I'm impressed with them. Mm. Jabra, was it Evolve or something? 65, isn't it? Evolve 65 is what you and I have got, yeah, both got. Yeah. It's, it's nice, it works. Well, yeah, we're not picking up hardly any noise from you turning. No, no. I mean, the, the, the dust extraction is really quite noisy here, but you can't hear it at all when I put it on. Uh, we can hear it when you fire it up, but then as soon yeah, as the no noise suppression kicks in, it, it's that's gone. Right. Yeah, it's really very effi efficient, very effective. And the same with my dust extractor in the workshop. You might hear it, it as I fire it up, but you can't hear it when I'm running. I barely hear it when you start it up, to be honest. No, because it's next door in the garage. Yeah, that's right, yeah. It's very efficient. The system. It's clever, isn't it? It is clever, yeah. I get I get impressed by things like that. It's basically continuous noises it stops, isn't it? Must I believe. Be. Mm. Yeah, not quite sure so, how it works. If there's a change in frequency fairly often, it'll, it'll pick it up. So if there isn't, saying he's gone for the cheaper option at the moment, bought the same as what Terry has. Well, that's the single one, isn't it? Just one ear. Yeah, that's what I'm on at the moment, the single ear piece indoors. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah. But I've got I've got the twin ear piece for the workshop. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I do all mine from here, so. <clears throat> I have speakers on when I'm indoors. Right. Well, I think that is good enough to show everybody what, what we've made. I've got a little bit of tarting up I want to do tomorrow when I'm fresh. But I'll take it off the, the lathe just to take it. Fantastic gonna... grain in that that we can is see. It? Absolutely That's gorgeous not a bad picture, and uh, that it must be fairly true to colour. I would think it's not. It's slightly darker, very slightly darker. Is it right? Yeah, yeah, yes, a little bit. But in fact, I quite like the picture on the screen. To be honest, yeah, very attractive. Yeah. Very attractive. But yeah, I'll take it off then. Uh, Chucky, that's what I'm looking for. I knew there was something I needed. And I shall sit myself down because because I'm exhausted. Stop it. Right. Well, that was quite a marathon. Oh. But 
but there it is. Oh, I like is that. that. Hour and three quarters coming up to hour and, mm, mm. Hour and 40. So, yeah, that looks nice, nice shape. Yeah, and the problem is it's thrown at us. I'm really quite pleased with that. Mm. And my little little black button in the bottom. A bit of ebony. It's strange, Does that it, triangle, isn't it? Yeah. In the, in the bottom there. Can you see the triangle on the inside? Yes. Yes, right. I can. I, I don't think I can show you that, but I might be able to. Turn it the right way. Oh, it's not, not picking oh, up. It's, oh, yeah, just oh, there about it is. there. There it is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. just about to see it with a little so, back yes, dot in yeah. it. And it's not polished inside yet. It'll show up better when I've done it. Mm. But, yes, it's uh, – no, I'm pleased with that. So, Rich has put in there, well, that's so much prettier than what he did. <laughs> it's got grain, hasn't it? That's the difference, Rich, yeah, really. I think that is, I didn't, that I is didn't. the killer. <laughs> Rich was, wasn't in at the beginning. I I tried a composite one, a Henselite one, uh, Rich, which is this brown colour. and it's, I think it's even worse than your black one. It's absolutely awful to turn. I mean, I've done I've done the, the bottom of it, but I've got through so many tools, <laughs> and you can't touch it with the high speed steel. It just it just won't won't cut it at all. So I gave up on that. I'm not even sure I shall ever get it finished. But uh, there's three in there. Aluminite question mark. Well, I believe that's the trade name, the technical name of the material that was used for that specific bowl. There is three, if not four, different uh, materials used. The one that Rich used last week, which was the sort of rubbery and a lot easier to cut than what that aluminite was, and then the <coughs> um, lignum vitae, which Andy's done tonight. Yep. And the, this, the, the, the brown one I had is there's, there's one I haven't cut into, and written across there is henselite, which is what it's made of. So yeah, yeah he, give you a clue. he wasn't showing off. He just read the instructions. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I googled it actually, and it, it mentioned Henselite. And then when I looked at these, it had Henselite written on them. So, uh, so, so Tommy's asking, is it a resin? Um, I can't no. answer that one. Don't, I'm not quite sure what it is, Tommy. If I'm honest, honest, if you Google it, um, you might be able to find that. There's all sorts of stuff about uh, lawn bowls, woods which is what they're called, even though they're made of plastic. Um, and and they, they experimented with all sorts of things. They had to do it because in Ameri in Australia, it was too hot for the lignum vitae ones, and they all split and gave them all sorts of problems. So that was why they developed these, these composite ones. Um, at least that was my reading of it. So, uh, so there we are. A little bit of homework for you. Let me know what you find out. <laughs> yeah, drop, drop all the notes in the chat, guys. Um, Andy will do his best to answer them all or at least acknowledge them and uh, hopefully you've enjoyed it enough that uh, you've all yeah. hit the thumbs up Yeah, Richard said he's, he's pretty sure it's the last one he'll do mm. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I shan't even finish the first one I've tried so it really is absolutely evil isn't it mm. and I have, I've got very cheap res um, Carbide. Carbide tools, very cheap ones. I think the three of them cost me 60 quid altogether or something like that. Uh, because I just wanted to try them out, but they're not up to doing that stuff at all. So Robbo's put in there that Henselite is a brand name, and yep. they are made just up the road from where he is. All right, I know they were Australian, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Because that was where they were first made in, in, the, in these composite materials, apparently. So, all right. Well, and they're still making, are they, Robo? Well, they are made, yes. Yeah, so looks as though they are. Oh, that's interesting because these are quite old. I mean, they've been around since 1951, the hence light ones. Mm. And the, 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 the lignum vitae one had 1972 on it, I think, or something. I, I did look at yeah, the Yeah, you said 72 last week 72, when you were right. speaking, yeah. yeah. I've removed it now, but it, it did say mm. 72 because they have to be checked and stamped mm. uh, so, to say that they're up to standard. So David McLernan's off. Thanks, David, for popping by. Bye, David. Oh, yep, he says about them still being made. Right, oh, oh yeah. That's, that's interesting, yeah. I've, my set, my set of woods are actually green, green with speckles on. 
I went mad because I'd never seen anybody with green green ones. So I, I thought that maybe they were hide in the grass and nobody will see them when I make a bad shot. But uh, it didn't work that way. They actually stand out quite well. <laughs> Perhaps you should have gone for your first choice, which was pink. <laughs> There are all sorts of colours that the people have: bright yellow, orange, and they yeah, they do multi multi coloured ones as well. And uh, they're rather lovely. What's that? Come on! I've just hit some a key underneath my cloth. Let's get rid of that. It's probably not showing on yours, so that's all right. No, we've got nothing come up here. No. Nope. Uh, Gav, today is off. Thanks, Gav. Bye, Gav. Thanks for coming. And uh, and it's time for us to stop and have a cup of coffee. I think or beer or something. No, no I'm all. Three quarters of the way through a beer, anyway. Oh yeah, yeah. I've been too busy, much too busy. I mean, drink of water actually. So. so Thursday night, Scott is on, but I don't have a link for him. So that's no, a seven thirty start, and Get tomorrow around. night you've got um, Wayne. Yep. I've seen a link for his somewhere. Yes, it's it's on it's on YouTube. Yep. Yep. And uh, yeah, and then next week it's whatever we said. I can't remember what the date is. Seventh, isn't it? Seventh, yeah. So you're doing. I'm doing one? Tuesday lunchtime. Yep. And you're doing Thursday. Thursday eight o'clock evening. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Is it 8 or 7 30, 7.30, isn't it, the Thursday morning? Uh, no, you can make it 8 if you like, because um... well, there's nothing coming up after, yeah. is there now? No, because uh, Rich is uh, out on the pee. Yep, although I'm tempted to go for 7.30. It's nicer, isn't it? Uh, it's up to you, mate. You're the one yeah. that's going yeah, to be doing it. it. I haven't posted it yet, so I might I might make it 7.30. I'll get to bed early then. <laughs> Earlier. <laughs> Earlier, yeah. Uh, yeah. Good. So, but yeah, all the all the lives come up on uh, various channels. Would turn in international is quite a good one. Um, Darren put, puts them up 24 hours or we can post them on there 24 hours before they come up. Um, both Andy puts it up on his channel and I put mine up on mine. Yep. Several yep. people copy them. And you get to know, but if you've hit the bell, notification bell, you should be notified as we That's start anyway. Ten minutes after we start, yeah. <laughs> or ten minutes after in the case of <laughs> yeah. uh, it was tonight, I'm it being was, notified. Yeah. But hey-ho, yeah. Yeah, you get to see most of it anyway. So. Good. Oh, he's a, somebody at his club, Tommy's club, has got clear woods with something in the middle mm, that'd be different. i was just reading yeah yeah, yeah. be different mm. anyway i'm gonna call it call it a night okay thank you very much everybody for coming along i don't suppose we've got too many left now i think they should no, have there was 28 watched. just now still, still 25 yeah yeah that's very good thank you very much for your patience and uh, i hope you enjoyed what i attempted to do i'm quite pleased with it it's turned out all right. It's a lovely piece of timber. So uh, I should just get that finished tomorrow in, at my leisure. So thank you very much, and I shall say good night. Bye, everybody. Cheers, everybody. Sorry, I didn't I put you up, have I? No, I don't matter about it. I, I normally show. do. There we are. There we yeah, are. It's your show. <laughs> <Yeah>. uh, <laughs> okay. Cheers, everybody. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye, everybody. <laughs>